Good morning guys, so since it's officially spooky season, we are getting into the spirit. I'm actually gonna be going on a little self date. Actually, who remembers, like if you've been here for a while, when I did like my first taking myself out on a date video and I went to the movies and I was like, oh, I'm kind of nervous, but like now I'm actually really excited and I'm looking forward to it. I was gonna get ready, you know, do my makeup, do my hair, all of that stuff, but I'm like, I'm literally gonna go sit in the dark by myself. I did do my hair. As you can see, there's little braids right here. I got lazy and I just put it back up because it was not sitting right and I was like, okay, whatever. I'm not gonna struggle with this. Since it is spooky season, I obviously want to try to do some things to get myself into the spooky season spirit. And one thing that I actually want to do is I want to watch a scary movie every single day, but I want to try to watch movies I've never seen. So I actually put a calendar together. I was like thinking long and hard about it just to see like what movies I need to watch. And I put together this list right here. Actually, today is what inspired this whole thing because I was looking online and I was like what movies are coming up and I saw that they had Beetlejuice which I've never seen it's like a classic it's not a scary movie but it's like a Halloween themed movie at least I think it's not a scary movie but either way I'm actually really excited I love scary movies I've put in some movies that I've already seen as well just because you know I want to rewatch them also I already ate my lunch I ate a tuna sandwich so we're staying healthy because I'm gonna go to the movie theaters and I'm gonna obviously buy popcorn and an icy Okay, it's 127 now, time to head out. We're pulling up here to the movie theaters and I'm a little nervous now, like what if I don't like me? Hopefully there's no one there and I have the whole movie theater to myself. Guys, I literally have this whole place to myself. It feels like a private showing. I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's so loud in here. That's actually very rude. Do they not know I'm vlogging? Just came out of the movie theater. I actually really loved the movie. For a second there, I'll be honest, I thought it was gonna be kind of boring, but it like picked up over time. Also, it had a lot of very dark humor, which is common for Tim Burton, but it was really good. Lydia is my spirit animal. I was trying to remember the actress who played Barbara. I don't know her my name, but I knew I knew her from somewhere and I kept thinking and thinking and then all of a sudden it hit me. She's Stuart Little's mom. Also, really random thought. The person who played Beetlejuice did a really great job, but if they did like a modern version of it, I think Jim Carrey would kill. It. Also, another thing that crossed my mind, just imagine the behind the scenes. You know, Tim Burton movies are typically like claymation. It's weird how this one was real people, but yet they also mixed in like clay animation with it. So I don't know, the set just must have been so insane. Now I'm just outside waiting for my mom to come pick me up, but I have my icy to enjoy. Then on Saturday, we continued the fun and went to a drive-in movie theater to watch The Addams Family 2. Hey, back up, back up, back up. Had to get my racks up. Pull up in the bench truck. Baby, please don't act up. I feel like a monster. This is what fame offers. They all got a problem. And I'm the one to solve them. Caitlin hated this. Haters made me this. I turned the lamest chick into the baddest bitch. Now she know her worth. Teddy got that work. Call I put him in the dirt Got some real ones with me, uh Hit you with the blicky, uh Rolling up the sticky, uh Like the backwards with me, uh My girl looking thicky, uh She got hips like Nikki, uh Hustle through the city, uh In the hood, I'm this mode I drink, no need to think She go to work, she make you twerk, yeah I'm about to show you my protein waffle recipe But first, we're gonna go and grab a quick coffee So for breakfast, I'm gonna have protein waffles and then I'm also gonna make some hard boiled eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those in right now. First of all, you need a little waffle maker and I highly recommend this one from Target. It's literally so tiny. So the three ingredients are half a banana, one egg, and protein powder. So when I make protein waffles, I like the vanilla flavor versus like the chocolate because otherwise I feel like it's too sweet. And then if you wanna get fancy, I love to add dark chocolate chips to it. We start off with one scoop of the protein powder. Then you take half the banana and I like to slice it up, that way it makes it easier to mix in. 
then you need one egg this is gonna make it so much easier to mix in all together you could probably substitute this with like applesauce or even like milk but personally i prefer the egg i feel like it works best so as you can see i'm just using a fork here because we don't have one of those electric mixers which will make it much easier but it's still doable with a fork what i like to do is just start off by squishing the bananas down and then mixing everything in together so as i mentioned this is personal preference but i like to add in some dark chocolate chips and i just mix that in i like to put a little bit of butter that way it doesn't stick to the pan but you could also always use like one of those sprays so again just personal preference at this point and you just let it cook and i swear this waffle maker makes them so fast i absolutely love it Then once you finish making all of your waffles, you can go ahead and add in any toppings you like. So I'm just taking here the other half of the banana, adding it on top, and then taking some sugar-free syrup to drizzle on top of it. And voila, that's it. Literally so easy. I'm so excited to finally dig in. We just made it to the drive-in movie theater. Today we're gonna be watching The Addams Family 2. I've never been to a drive-in movie theater before, so this is gonna be my first time. But I'm really excited because we don't have one where I live. I'll let you guys know what I think about the movie as well at the end of it because I've never even seen the first one, to be honest. This is a really random fact, but we just bought some stuff from the concession stand and our order number was number 13 and my seat at the other movie theater was number 13. So maybe 13 is my lucky number, like high key. Sorry for the horrible lighting, but we just left the drive-in movie theater and I would have to say that for my first experience, I really enjoyed it and the movie was super cute. And now we're headed to Kinder, California to go to Moonstone Beach to get some moonstones. Let's go have some fun. Cambria right now and we're looking to see if we can find the moonstones we're at moonstone beach i was kind of expecting there to be like actual moonstones like when you go to a crystal shop this beach is just like full of the tiny little rocks we saw last time at montaña de oro look at this one look at the color it's just so cool to like hold all of these cute little rocks they're so tiny they're so precious you know i've always wanted to find a piece of sea glass and to this day i have not found a piece of sea glass so if i found one today i would have scored all I need is 21 days and I'm fine Guys, look how neat this one I just found is. I'm finding some that are clear, which is really cool. I've never seen clear rocks before. It never fails, I try. But maybe I don't ever want to put down this life. I could be your best. Guys, I was just walking along the beach, minding my own business, and I looked down, and I found this. Is this a piece of sea glass, or is this a rock? Because this whole trip, I've kept saying that I want to find a piece of sea glass, and if I found one, I'm so excited. This is so pretty. Look at that color. It's like a beautiful lime green color. Okay, I don't know what just happened, but I started to get lucky because I found another piece of sea glass. This, I'm pretty sure it's sea glass because it's like, got the shape of... No, it's for sure sea glass. <gasps> We've struck gold! All I need is 21 days and I'm fine Genuine everyone, I'ma still need more time Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god!
What is that? My legs are tired from digging, but we definitely found some pieces of moonstone and I found sea glass. It's like legit sea glass. I don't know if you guys can see me. If you don't know what sea glass is, it's literally just broken pieces of glass, but the way that the ocean hits it, it smooths out the edges. These here, I'm pretty sure are moonstones. Single year, yeah, never fails, I try. All I need is 21 days and I'm fine Genuine everyone, I'ma still need more time Every single year, yeah, it never fails, I try But maybe I don't ever wanna put down this life